I'm Jess Parnas and welcome to This Week in Penn State Sports, where we'll take a brief look back at what happened this past weekend, covering all your Nittany Lion action. The Penn State women's gymnastics team hosted the 2010 NCAA National Regionals this past weekend as the Nittany Lions placed third and fell just shy of advancing to the NCAA National Championships with a score of 196.050. Brandi Personette took first in the all-around with a 39.500 and Shariya Musser placed second respectively with a 39.200 as they both qualified for the NCAA National Championships as individual competitors. As a team, Penn State scored a 49.050 on vault, a 49.000 on the uneven bars, and a 48.775 on beam and 49.225 on floor. Both Personette and Musser now prepare for the NCAA 2010 Women's Gymnastics National Championships, which will be hosted by the University of Florida from April 22nd to 24th. The Nittany Lions softball team captured a series sweep as they displayed efficient pitching and hitting to capture a 3-0 victory against Wisconsin on Sunday. Lisa Akamine hit a two-run single in the fifth, as well as earning the win, while Ashley Griffith went 3-for-3 three three with the second inning RBI. State is now riding a three-game winning streak and captures its fifth straight win against the Badgers overall. The Nittany Lions return to action on Wednesday when they take on Michigan State for a doubleheader in Happy Valley. First pitch is slated for 4 p.m. Follow the game with live stats on Game Tracker, live streaming audio on GoPSUSports.com All Access, and radio coverage on 1390 AM WRSC. Commentary is also available through Twitter. The Penn State baseball team bounced back with a 6-5 win over Northwestern on Sunday in its series finale at Medler Field at Lubrano Park. Junior catcher Ben Heath tied a career high with three hits, which extended his career high hitting streak to 17 games, tied for the seventh longest in school history. Redshirt freshman Elliot Searer also extended his hitting streak to 11 games with a 1-for-3 effort and two RBIs. Sophomore Joey DeBernardis chipped in with a hit and RBI to up his on-base streak to 21 straight games. Sophomore Jordan Steranka had a big two-run single to drive in Penn State's third and fourth runs, while sophomore Sean Deegan and junior Heath Johnson each recorded a hit as well. It's Thon Night as the Nittany Lions return to Medler Field at Lubrano Park on Tuesday against Pittsburgh. First pitch is set for 6.05 p.m. Season and individual tickets can be purchased online or over the phone. So call the number you see on your screen or visit us at gopsusports.com. In men's golf, senior Kevin Foley fired an unprecedented 205 total tournament score to earn the top seat of the Kepler Intercollegiate Leaderboard. Penn State followed Foley's strong performance, finishing the weekend in Columbus in second place behind winner Eastern Michigan. The team as a whole shot an 863 total score for plus 11, just two strokes behind Eastern Michigan's 861. Penn State will be back home on April 24th and 25th for the Rutherford Intercollegiate, which will be held at the Blue and White Course. Visit GoPSUSports.com for complete information. At the Sun Angel Track Classic, senior Fondor broke the Penn State school record of 56.91 in the quarter hurdles with a lifetime best 56.65 seconds. She finished second in the race. Also on the women's side, junior Siobhan Greaves had a good day, earning herself two second place finishes in the 200 meter and the 400 meter. With the men, it was senior Ryan Fritz who stole the day, claiming an individual victory in the high jump. Next on tap for the outdoor track season is a trip to Bucknell University this coming weekend to participate in the Bucknell Team Challenge on April 17th. The Penn State men's tennis team snapped its three-match losing streak with an exciting 4-3 win over Michigan State and a convincing 6-1 victory over Bloomsburg on Sunday. Junior Eddie Boucher's impressive performance over Michigan State clinched the victory for Penn State as he teamed up with Guillaume St. Maurice in doubles to give the Nittany Lions an early advantage with an 8-1 win. With the score tied at 3-3, the overall match came down to the number one matchup where Boucher claimed a 6-4 victory. Penn State returns home again next weekend for a pair of Big Ten matches against Illinois and Indiana. Friday's match is set to begin at 3 p.m. and Sunday's begins at 12 p.m. Also, congratulations to junior Taylor Battle and seniors Ty Grant and Dan Valmont, who are all named team MVPs in men's and women's basketball and wrestling. The players received their awards at their respective end-of-season banquets last week. And football fans, don't forget Penn State's Blue and White weekend presented by AAA is less than two weeks away. Activities start on Friday, April 23rd and include events such as Wing Fest, the Penn State Idol Finals, followed by fireworks. 
The game is set to begin at 2 p.m. on April 24th at Beaver Stadium and will be an event you won't want to miss. Be sure to check GoPSUSports.com for a complete schedule for the entire weekend. Adding to an already eventful weekend, Penn State is ready to start a brand new tradition at Blue and White Weekend. Walkers and runners of all ages are invited to join in the first annual Beaver Stadium 5K Run Family Fun Walk on April 25th. All proceeds benefit the Special Olympics Pennsylvania and the run will start at 10 a.m. Pre-registration for the Beaver Stadium run will be available until Thursday, April 22nd at www.specialolympicspa.org. Participants also can register for the run April 23rd to 24th near the Bryce Jordan Center, as well as prior to the 10 a.m. start on April 25th. Be sure to check out the auctions page at gopsusports.com, where there are currently a wide variety of Penn State items available. Items range from a blue and white weekend fan experience, Daryl Clark autographed football, Sean Lee autographed mini helmet, game warm football jerseys, as well as a very cool baseball experience that includes a suite at Medler Field with 20 tickets for the PSU Iowa game, including food and drink, as well as the chance for one member of the party throwing out the first pitch. Click on the auctions tab on the menu page at gopsusports.com to check out all of the auction items available and currently underway. Don't forget to visit the official Penn State Athletics Facebook page and join the nearly 40,000 members of the only other Nittany Line destination dedicated to bringing you all the news and information you need with the opportunity to provide your feedback, share with others, and of course, comment. Become a fan today. Also, be sure to check out the All Sports blog on gopsusports.com where you'll find a variety of information and topics covering all your Penn State sports. Look for another edition of This Week in Penn State Sports later in the week where we'll fill you in on more of this week's events and what's coming for this weekend, including men's lacrosse at Jeffrey Field and the men's gymnastics collegiate championships individual events in West Point, New York, which start at 7 p.m. both Friday and Saturday. Thanks for joining us today. For GoPSUSports.com, I'm Jess Parnes.